this or the combine you have this today how, putting those two together how do you feel like you did for the scouts i feel like you know i show um what i can do you know coming in out of my breaks you know uh, running a, a good time you know for my size and i feel like i did pretty good how much did today kind of benefit you and your stock you think uh, i think it benefited me a lot just coming out doing everything you know showing them i'm not scared to compete you know just trying to put up better numbers you know i wasn't um not complacent you know i wasn't um, I mean, I had good numbers, but I wanted to put up better numbers, so have any teams, I could help. Have any teams shown particular interest in you so far? Uh, yeah, yeah, they have, like, <laughs> but, you know. Did anybody in particular, I'm sure you've talked to a lot, but anybody kind of showing you more interest than others? Uh, I mean, all of them kind of show interest, so I don't really know. I don't try to think about it too much, because at the end of the day, you know, I'm in a way. I can't really help, you know, where I go, so. You had to overcome, I say overcome, you had a lot of, adversity here, you know, whether it's coaching changes, some of the, some of your classmates you came in with transferred out. But you know, I remember you telling me a couple of years ago, just keep it, keep my head down and, and keep the same mindset. How much did that help you get to where you are today? Uh, I mean, it's everything really, you know, just, you gotta have goals, you know, you gotta just strive towards it, you know, you can't shy away from it. You just gotta keep grinding, keep your head down. And then as long as the work, you know, meet your preparation, then everything gonna work out. You, know, you just gotta work for it though, you can't just, talk about it and don't be about it. So as long as you work, it's gonna be good. So I just try to keep my head down, no matter what I'm going through and just work. Where do you think you'll get drafted? Do you have like a round specifically you think you might go? Um, I, w I would say I'm not, I don't really know. I don't, I'm going any past 50 though, I'm going okay. past 50. You know, it's one thing to come out here and do these workouts, but you actually were on the field against some of the best receivers in the country and you have some pretty good tape. What do you think the tape says about your game? Uh, you know, I, I feel like my tape, you know, is great, you know, show what I can do. But I really just scratch the surface, you know. I, I feel like I'm coming together as a better player, you know, more faster and more explosive. So I'm just ready to see what the future holds on us. What did this conference do for you going up against that kind of competition to prepare you for the NFL, you think? Uh, I feel like it did a lot. You know, it helped out because, you know, every Saturday you're playing against a good guy, you know, you can't just go into any Saturday and just feel like, you know, it's going to be a cakewalk. So I feel like it helped me, you know, SEC, you know, the world, know it's the best conference in America. So I feel like it helped me a lot. Obviously, you've been you know preparing for the draft, and you were at the combine. What's kind of like to be back in Starkville? Is this your first time since you yeah, know, the season ended? Yeah, my first time. So it's it been great, you know, just being around my brothers, you know, getting to talk to everybody. You know, uh, I love this campus. You know, it's family, it's family oriented. You know, I'm all about family, so I just felt great being here. You know, and just putting on the show in front of my brothers. You know, because we all got the same dreams and goals. So just showing, you know, it's possible. It was, it was great. All right. What's it like kind of having you know former teammates that that came out for this kind of you know on the sidelines there watching you? Yeah, it's, you know, it's all just a surreal moment, just taking it all in, you know. Worked for this my whole life, so it was just fun, you know, it was just fun. Just working for it and just knowing my work paying off, so. Is it weird? Great moment. Is it weird that they're not on the field with you when you're doing all those drills? I mean, nah, not really. Yeah. Nah, it ain't really weird, you know. How much does it help? I mean, obviously you're going to face adjustments at the next level, but you play for different defensive coordinators, you had different position coaches, different head coaches. How much does that help you to learn from different people? It helps a lot, you know, just learning from different kind of coaches. You know, everybody, every coach, you know, got their own strategy. So just learning a lot of tools and just filling the toolbox, you know, it's going to help at the next level, you know, so I'll be ready for anything, honestly. What do you bring to an NFL team? What, what are you going to bring to that locker room when you hear your name called? A um, guy that's going to come in, they want to compete, you know, and do whatever, do whatever it takes for a team to win, you know.